Yo, you gotta practice or something. You gotta rehearse, run some laps beforehand, warm up, stretch it out. Come on, man. What was going on? Did you have like freaking sandals on? What happened? Also, your friends were already gone at the time that you were doing the whole Nikki Nikki Nine Doors thing, okay? You need better allies, all right? You guys, you guys aren't very good at this game. I used to play this game all the time. I loved it. And when I would go on dance competitions out of town, we'd play it in our hotel. Ugh. Bad idea, but still fun. I would do it again. I came home an hour early and decided to scare my boyfriend. I came home an hour early and decided to scare my boyfriend. Ma, how are you that quiet? Like he really didn't hear you? How is that possible? Like where is he that he doesn't see you? If this works, I will be very impressed. No. So hard. <laughs> oh my gosh. Are you alright? That exploded. Can we just think about the fact that that could have hit her in the face? Like he chucked it and it went right next to her head, okay? Like if that would have hit her in the face, it would have broke her freaking nose. Take it from someone who's broken their nose from something hitting their face, okay? Uh, worth it. Worth the prank as long as she didn't get hit. That's pretty impressive. This is like I feel like the results were too real to be fake. If the, if you get what I'm saying. But damn, weapon of choice, orange. Good to know, cause that was crazy. At least if you got a good arm and a good throw, who needs who needs a knife? We all learned something new here today. Oh my god, that water, so pretty. <gasps> oh! <laughs> Probably not the content you were hoping to get with this. Like, obviously, he's like, "Yo, film me. I'm gonna do some sick trick or sick, sick flip off this little thing." Like, I don't know. I really don't know what he was going for. You can't. You know, flippers are very restricting. I don't know what kind of error you thought you were gonna get from this. You know what I'm saying? But. I was hoping to see a little more. A little more something than just like a little hop in the water. Um, or a fall, but. <laughs> Can we talk about that water? Like, I wanna go on vacation. Oh my God, those boots, are you kidding me? <gasps> oh, oh! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I was. It all happened very quickly, but I was very impressed. First of all, those heels impressed. Like, whoa, I want a pair, but like way too high. I just need it chopped down the heel, probably like down in half and then I'm good. Cute heels. I was impressed with the move and how you were doing a little swirly whirly around there in those heels. Like we cannot say we're not impressed, but it only lasted about 0.7 of a second and then it went down. <sighs> yeah, I would like to say that I would love to try pole dancing, like those classes, you know, where you learn the tricks of the trade, like just for funsies. Um, but I don't trust the home ones, okay? Anytime I see someone doing this stuff in their home, it's all over TikTok. I think people tried this whole thing during COVID and people were bored at home. I get it. I don't trust them. I have enough trust issues in this world and you not you are not telling me that I'm just gonna screw or tape or glue some freaking pole or suction it to my ceiling and floor and it's gonna hold my weight, okay? Oh! What happened? Oh, the balloon! No, no, no. Oh my God, oh 
my god. funny because of how bad it is like it could have been the one the balloon and I would have laughed but then the flowers and I'm like oh my god and then the chocolate like everything because it was so bad it's funny but also like that just broke my heart this man I don't know where he's going or who this is for but he went above and beyond he could have stopped the chocolates he could have stopped the flowers and then it took it all off he got a balloon he got everything Oh, and it's all ruined. Oh, that is so heartbreaking. The pain in his voice, but no. It's like the Wilson. Not quite the same, but. I felt the pain. Ooh. Oh. Oh, no. Mom. No, mom, no. Oh, no. Yeah, I'd have issues. That would suck. <laughs> I get it. Like, I'm sure her, the mama don't want her baby boy kissing on some girl on TV. And he's like, no, no, no. No, not my boy. No, ma'am. Oh, my God. It's actually a little bit hilarious because of the circumstances, but... Um, no, I'd be a little bit pissed. Cause like, what if he wanted to kiss her? How cute would that be? You know, like what if it's their first date? No, no, no. I mean, if it's your first date, are you really bringing your mom? I mean, I would not put it past this world. I've seen weirder things. Yum. Oh! <laughs> oh no. <gasps> Okay, we got a triple whammy there. There was three fails in one. The noodle, the slippery, slidey noodle thing is <laughs> actually hilarious. <laughs> it's like a slippery snake. I hope you guys have seen that video <laughs> of a snake. A slippery snake. <laughs> okay, forget it. That's what I was thinking of with the slippery snake noodle. And then the flinging thing, that would suck. Who knows where that landed? Like, what if it landed in someone else's food? And then man's just grabbed a Kleenex and this guy freaked out and he had a mouthful of freaking noodles. A lot to unpack here. <laughs> I think my favorite is the slippery snake noodle though. Damn. Oh, okay. I feel like this isn't a good idea. Oh no, oh. Oh my god, it couldn't have been easier, honestly. First of all, this is above carpet and a couch, so you have all the means for a soft landing. All you had to do was follow the girl before you, jump in like a seated position, because then you know that at least you're gonna land on your butt on the couch in some form. She freaked out, she grabbed the wall, she landed off the couch and off the carpet. Like, she did everything wrong. You gotta commit. If you're gonna be partying and probably a little tipsy and commit to like a funny thing to do, like we all think things are a good idea when we've had some alcohol, like this, like I would do this 100%. I would do that sober, to be honest. But you gotta commit to it. The minute you stop committing when you've already started, fail. Get ready. <laughs> okay. But even if you. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what? Okay, I don't know. I think what he's trying to do is like do the roll thing. Like you roll it to the other end of your body in one motion. But it almost looked like the trick was meant for him to pick up the backpacks on one, like on each leg. I don't know. It looks like that was part of the trick because of the like the placement and the timing. But then he looked surprised and then it fell over and the... No, I know where this is going. Oh no. Oh! <sighs> yep. Yeah, mm, yeah. I think we all saw where that was going, like quite literally. Mm -mm. I don't trust those things either. I'm a big gym person, but you, you will not see me using that in the gym. 
I'm not putting no rubber elastic bands between my legs for any type of movement that has restriction and when this could happen. Like, I'm just smarter than that. No offense. No, it's not worth the risk. I don't need booty games that bad. Wife caught cheating as husband kissing yeah, another girl. You are so... You are so... Oh my god. What's your name? Who are you? Are you the girl that I tried to add on Instagram? Yeah, I'm sending this to your mom right now. Oh, and then you're kidding me. Mom. <gasps> Chief in I command. I knew it, dude. I f knew it. <gasps> Anything to say? Oh my gosh. Something. Are you smiling? Are say you okay something. Doing this, knowing that this is a married man. And you have a boyfriend? I, she's a boyfriend. This is so painful. Like, the silence kills me. The man, he said nothing. Absolutely nothing. I mean, not, no one said anything. The only person talking was the one who was just cheated on. Shocker there. And she's like, I'm gonna show your mom. I'm gonna show your man a chain of Kamith. Chain of Kamith. <sighs> Y'all, I'm just flustered and I'm sweating because I felt the uncomfortableness from the silence, okay? That was so cringeworthy. Someone say something, please. I mean, I could think of a few things, but maybe sorry as like a starter. Like that could be a starting point. Just an idea. You're kidding. Down the crack. No one will ever know. <laughs> no one will ever know. <laughs> Honey, give it up. Wow, she's really going for it here. She's really, what are you getting, two? Oh no, it's her bag. Ma, look at it sticking out. I honestly think I need to do a whole series of the dumbest and worst criminals ever. This lady wants a chainsaw real bad, real bad. How she confidently thinks that she has hidden that so well when it is literally sticking out and I can see the entire thing is like, it's quite impressive. Her confidence impresses me. Her shoplifting skills do not. Caught cheating red-handed. You think that I'm mother- stupid please get out of my house now please ma she just chilling with a I got blanket my get the out of my house this is silence i hate it Ma, he's gonna walk her out? Ma! Ma! These guys, man! They're the ones cheating and they don't say a damn thing. He walks her out instead of being like, oh, I'm sorry. Let me console the person who I've just cheated on. No, no. Let me walk the other woman out nicely. Let me walk her to her car and be a gentleman and finish this date off right. I will be damned. I will be damned. Hmm. What? What the f is going on? Ma, look at that is on your pants. What? What that is on your pants? Dude, I'm gonna get in the shower. I just got to play football. No, the, what, bro? Who the f you had in my house? I, my uncle, my my brother and them just left over here. We were playing football. I'm saying, why the f is white f on your pants? I ain't made taking away this. You me. ain't finna get in my shower. You can come on. You can get out. Who you had up in here? I got Where you going? I gotta hurt. You can stop itching towards the bathroom and come out. I had made a second way this stuff on me. What you, bro, come on. What? what I am just, talk about speechless. I am in awe and disbelief. And I understand we're focusing on the pants. 
and we're focusing on something that's on the pants. But I'm so focused on his shirt, y'all, that I can't even think about the pants. His shirt is ripped, he is stuttering, he's like awkwardly being like, yo, uh, my uncle, my family, we're playing football, now I got something on my pants, I gotta go, like, his story's everywhere, everywhere. Sometimes it's better to not say anything, I guess. Like the other people in the other videos, maybe man's here should've just said nothing said nothing or the freaking truth and then apologize and be on with your life but whatever these females be out here cheating too all over so i can get caught like are you bugging <laughs> seriously <laughs> he's gonna find out like he's gonna fucking find out and you're like you're bugging what like he doesn't see my tattoos and like Come on, like, uh, if you, no, if you, I love wait, this person's like straight up trying to expose the fact that like she cheated on her man. I mean, do you want to blow your cover for yourself? I don't even understand the logic behind this. Well, we can't keep doing this if you expose it. I am not on their side, by the way, not on their side at all. I mean, you shouldn't have to panic and be like, yo, he's going to find out. Like, how about, how about we just stay loyal or be single? Yeah, I do work in the industry, but I know I'm, not, I'm not. Yeah, I know you do. <laughs> it's not funny. I'm always smiling, dude. That's good. I'm glad somebody's smiling. Yeah. I can't smile. Hey, Julie. I'm doing good. I heard for the most, nobody asked what happened. Huh? Think, whatever the fuck they think. That's a lot. That's a lot of items stolen, ma'am. All I saw in the beginning was she was crying and she's like, I'm human too. And it's like, who's saying that you aren't? Like you're stealing, it's just not allowed. That is a lot of items to steal. It's not very discreet. You're not doing a very good job. You might be one of the worst criminals out there. Y'all, I'm gonna tell you this quick story. I actually saw the smartest criminal ever. I don't condone this and I'm not trying to give you ideas, but I just have to share how genius it was. One time in a shopper's drug mart, I saw a girl steal, okay? She had a McDonald's cup and she was drinking it, like slurping, whatever, blah, 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 like pretending to sip on it, whatever. I would have never thought anything. And then I went down the other aisle and I caught her taking like makeup items, open the lid and she was sliding them in the lid and then walking around being like, Tell me that's not freaking genius. I do not condone stealing. I just thought it was pretty smart. Caught stealing at Walmart. Oh, oh my god. They're pants. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> sir. I can't. Oh, he's trying to make oh, a run wow. for it. Well, I take back the comment about the girl being the dumbest criminal ever because this guy definitely slides into first place. Okay. He didn't even try. You couldn't have wanted it that bad because you literally shoved it in your pants. It's sticking out. People are standing behind you in line. Minimal effort. And that is why you were unsuccessful, sir. Hello, I'm a Walmart security. We have video of you stuffing bras inside of your pantyhose stealing. Look, look. Where? Where? <laughs> I'm trying to do this. I'm trying to see if they fit. Oh, I thought you were stealing. I'm sorry. Oh, look. Look at this. I'm trying to do this. My, my fault. I looked at the camera wrong. I thought you were stealing. Oh gosh, I wow. But look, I can't tell the size. I just sent some back. And I'm trying to figure if they fit. Uh, just steal them. No, I'm, I'm not going to tell them. nobody. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to see what you go, what you go do it. I'm, I'm trying to see if they fit, silly. Okay. Huh? Y'all just made me a friend. Make sure y'all follow her on TikTok. She tagged me. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> I haven't done anything yet on TikTok. Anyway, come to Walmart. What is going on? Oh, yeah, you see, girl. That's good. My daughter got one, and uh, I so I came up to get one. It's nice meeting you. You too. Have a good one. Okay, okay you too. I'll be seeing I you. I love you. Huh? No problem. Uh, huh? I don't. 
don't understand. Was this a prank? Was this a TikTok trend that I am unaware of? Are we pretending that people are stealing and then confronting them to see their reaction? Because I feel like you might be asking to get punched in the face because if someone came up to me and accused me of that, I am not going to take that lightly. I'm also not saying I will punch you in the face, but I'm not saying that I won't. I'm kidding. You know, I live here. If I were you, I'd put that down. Because those are my stuff. I live here. Huh? This is my house. My mom lives there? I want to call the police on you. <gasps> Oh wow, okay. I don't know how someone tries to convince the person who lives there that it's not their house. <laughs> it's like I live here and you're like, no, you know, my mom does. It's like, bruh. Hello. And the minute he was like, yo, I'ma call him. I'ma call 911. She's like, all right, take your stuff then. Like she gets mad. She gets mad at him as if he did something wrong. Stop it. Wait, so they're literally just plugging in stuff to your outlets at the side of your house and they're just like basically racking up your hydro bill? I'd be so mad. Yo, hydro's expensive. People will do anything these days. Shit, look at this guy. Come on, you gotta go. Oh, he's still just trying, eh? Okay, I mean, he was just a very bold shoplifter. He's just cutting away. They are literally staring at him in the face with the camera and be like, yo, we got it on camera, you have to go. He's like, well, if I'm gonna go, I'm at least take something. Like, I can't leave here empty handed. Yo, another shoplifting story. Apparently I catch all the shoplifters, so maybe I need to change my profession. I did see a woman who opened nail clippers in Marshalls and then she was trying to use the nail clippers to cut the security tags off things. They will not let you go home oh. until you pass the Oh! <laughs> Is that real? That fart was making man's legs like twitch and convulse. That's how powerful this fart was. <laughs> Did you see his legs going like, and then like with the finale of the fart, his legs shot up? This is true. Um, I don't know what they had done. I'm telling a lot in this video. I am really exposing myself here, but I don't care. I had a colonoscopy time last year. It was awful. I hated the whole process, sucked. And when you wake up after the procedure, cause they put you out, thank God, uh, they literally won't let you go <laughs> until you pass gas. Like that's a thing and it's so embarrassing because the doctor literally like wanted to hear you fart because then they know that your body's kind of digesting and things are kind of moving and it's good and you're cruising. So that is and was embarrassing. I'm just telling all my embarrassing stories. After having a baby in front of a med student I for new from high school. Oh God. Like the odds of that actually happening is pretty high. No? Y'all went to med school together to become nurses and doctors and it's like, but when you're the one in the hospital bed, there might be some people seeing your junk at some point. I, you could not pay me enough to have a baby in front of someone I went to med school with. Like someone you know, like unless you were like close with them, like who cares, but like, no. I remember one time <laughs> I had to go to the hospital like the emergency room so i went and they were like the doctor came in like one of the nurses i should say and he came in to do some tests and stuff like that and i was in one of their gowns and i did not shave my legs like pfft, it was like winter probably didn't shave okay this hair probably didn't shave them for like a week <laughs> and i was in one of the gowns and like he had to like do stuff i don't know and so i remember he had to like attach a wire up there i don't know 
this is making it sound really weird and creepy. But anyways, point is, is this guy walks in and I went to school with him and it was super awkward because I had like a crush on him back in the day and he was like really cute and blah, blah, blah. And my legs were so hairy and I was so, I felt so embarrassed, even though you should not feel embarrassed for body hair. But I just remember looking down and being like, damn it. Just recording me refilling my juice containers. Not realizing the plant is literally on fire. <gasps> oh my god, it's like really, is that a fake plant? That's a fake plant. It's plastic. And then oh I god. see it. <gasps> Her <gasps> was like my <gasps> at first when I saw it. That is plastic, y'all, because that's not a real plant. I can tell. I can tell by the leaves and the way that it's burning. And how do you not smell that? I feel like you would smell burning plastic and see it. That is awfully close. At first when I read it and like I couldn't see the plant, I thought it was like a plant in the background, you know, like somewhere far. And I'm like, well, whatever. Of course you didn't see it. It is literally in arm's reach. What? questions you forgot to get out what what do you mean you forgot to get out number two how did they not get you out like when you drive the car in they just start pumping that thing up in the air like they didn't see you you didn't want to start knocking on the window the second they start raising you up bro that is like waiting until you are at the very top and oh <gasps> That gives me anxiety. Oh my God, what if you fell? What if it broke? I could not be up there. Like, <laughs> but I guess once you're up there, like you're committed to how embarrassing this is. Cause once you're up there, you're not about to like roll down the bed. Excuse me, I didn't get out. Cause they'd be like, why didn't you say something sooner? But then when you come down, do you just like unroll your window and be like, bro, I was up there. Like that was fun. This is crazy to me. You're chilling more than I would be. I'd be freaking out, man. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I don't even trust when they lift my car up there. I'm like, what if my car falls? Like, let alone me up there. Okay. Who's there? Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Oh no. I would like to think, like, I don't care. Like, filming stuff in public doesn't bother me or, like, taking photos. Like, downtown Toronto, you will always see influencers in the wild, like, people just taking pictures of their friends. I do it all the time. And, like, some people get really embarrassed by that, and I'm like, I don't care. Look at me. Like, I'm taking a picture or I'm filming a video. But I feel like when it's, like, a this kind of vibe, like, you know, she's like, oh, like acting all like turning and posing and she's like trying, you know, it's a thirst trap. Let's be honest, it's a thirst trap. She's a little thirsty, it's a hot day. I might be embarrassed if someone like, is like kind of like laughing as they're walking by because they know, like, I do think I'd be embarrassed. I kind of got a little bit like secondhand embarrassment there. Ooh. You look good, girl. So who cares, own it. Thinking about the time my crush wore wore a sorry I'm awkward shirt to school, so I went straight home and posted this. What? Oh no, honey. Oh no. <laughs> this is such, this brings me back to elementary school days, like to a T. Something would happen at school and then I'd go home on MSN. If you know, you know, I am that old. I was around for MSN, okay? And I would like update my status based on something that happened at school with my crush that day, this. So her crush rolled up to school wearing a t-shirt that said, sorry, I'm awkward. She went home, <laughs> posted this like cute selfie and wrote, let's be awkward together. <laughs> Oh, it's so embarrassing, but so cute and innocent at the same time. But like, girl, you guys didn't get awkward together. Is he drunk? Oh, 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 sir. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Ma, look at his friend. I can't.
can't even believe I had to ask in the beginning if this man was drunk. Like, bruh. You answered it very quickly for me. There's a lot to talk about. The first fall, he, his recovery time on that was very quick. Because that looked a little painful. Then he tripped again, got right back up like a freaking superstar. Then we keep going and I see someone's legs. It reminds me of the Wizard of Oz when the witch's legs are just coming out from under the house. You guys need some water. Maybe a burger, some greasy food, water. Gatorade for the morning, get yourself to bed, dude. I mean, I can't say I haven't been there and had many of these nights in my day, but I'm happy they're over. I couldn't hang like this, you guys. I couldn't hang. Mm -mm. My hangovers are rough now. Reminiscing about the time I did the most embarrassing thing I've ever done on national television. What did you do? Oh my God. I could throw up thinking about this happening to me. I would physically die. My body would give up. I would have no will to live after that. I don't know who this is or what dance show this is or what. I'm sorry, Linda Arnold. I'm sorry guys, I don't know who that is. I also don't know who David Ross is, but she straight up like, oh my God, oh my God. Leg spread, face to butt, fart in the face, and directly in the mic. I can't even say that because I feel like I'm getting, like I'm sweating because I'm picturing this happening to me. <gasps> that would be mortifying. I can't think of anything worse. Okay, guys. Pregnancy okay. reveal gone so wrong. Okay, who cares? I do. He's a little sassy. Okay, okay. yeah. Open your eyes. Should I be? Hmm? Open it! Why is he upset? Yeah. What? Why would you come over? What? You're Are not you not happy? Huh? Dude, I have, I'm going on a trip next week. <laughs> what are you. What does next week have to do with that? Dude. Anything? No, because. Do you know what that is? I know what's happening. Bro. Do you know what that is? Why did you come over? He's you so know I upset. I have a trip next week and it's for work. <laughs> I can't miss that. Do you know what that is? Yes, but I can't miss my trip. What? But <laughs> Why I, would you have to miss your trip? It's not like a <gasps> either. You know, my grandma is like not okay right now. And what? No, it's not funny. I don't what, even know what, is like, that's funny. what is that? You have COVID. I was like, why is man so mad right now? Like, this is not a good situation. And then I caught on about halfway through. I'm like, he thinks this is a COVID test. So he thinks that he's unable to travel because she has it and she's around him. Dude, how has he never seen a pregnancy test versus a COVID test before? That's what I don't get. It's like, really? Would you really not know the difference? Like, do men not know the difference? I'm not even trying to shade. Like, I, I mean, the COVID tests do look like pregnancy tests, but they don't have the pee stick. I don't know, there are some that don't. Anyways, okay, maybe this, maybe they do look a lot alike, but <laughs> I feel like she should have, no, there's nothing else she could have done. She straight up just put a pregnancy test in a box. It was crystal clear, couldn't have been less complicated, and he was still confused to tell me um all the painfully embarrassing things that happened with your crush i absolutely win this oh my god this still no. keeps me up at night i had the biggest crush on this guy and i was at a friend's house and he ended up coming over i'm freaking out i'm like oh my god this is my one chance to impress this guy and let mm -hmm. me just preface this by saying i'm not working with much i don't have a lot of talents but i can do something <laughs> i love her so i finally get him alone and i'm like this is it now or never I yes look at girl him, I'm like do you want to see something cool? And he's like, yeah. And oh, no. I lay on my back and he's just looking at I'm me scared. like, what? And I start queefing. I start <gasps> queefing. I let out a couple of queefs. And he looks at me, his facial expression changed. He looks at me, he goes, this is disgusting. He walks away, texts his mom. His mom comes and <coughs> picks him up. I was so confused because I genuinely thought this was cool. Like, I, I don't know what I was thinking. I <coughs> thought queefing on demand was cool. I went to like laugh and then I tried to hold it in. Girl, 
I am so sorry for you that <laughs> that you thought that was the best thing you could do in that moment. Like, <laughs> honestly, I think it depends. I don't know, maybe men can write in the comments and speak for me, but I feel like if you got the right guy with the right sense of humor, they might have thought that was the funniest thing ever. But if a guy started like laying down and started farting, like, and that's like your crush and you guys don't really know each other, like, I'm gonna be weirded out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave immediately and never speak to you again. <sighs> that is by far one of the most embarrassing stories like someone has openly told to me and the internet. Or leave a like on this video and subscribe to keep hanging out with me. But until then, I'll see ya. See you later. Bye.